Day 1 Enhanced Community Quarantine in Negros Occidental, Philippines On that day, we found ourselves in Murcia Town eating chorizo. Ang ginaluto din, ginapaluto din nila ni Nana, usually utan. Gusto din nila utan, tapos gina gina match-match lang naman. Utan ba tapos. Paul Mauricio is an amateur cook. He learned from his mom. Sure, yung sa kay mama ng notebook ng recipe, ang nakabutang uh, pwede siya pwede ang iyang timpla, pwede mo siya mahimo sa astosino. Murcia is a sleepy town, and Althea Rose Mauricio grew up here. She is Paul's cousin. In Sundays, gutok-gutok na di kay idrigido ng area kaya rada daga na merkado. So she is a former beauty queen, a gender advocate, and she also handles sales for DNX. Lives are changing under an enhanced community quarantine like the dead season in the sugar industry. Paul used to work for a courier company. Now he is making food and spending more time with his family. What you see behind me is a transloading station. It is usually busy this time of the year. It's the milling season in Sugarlandia. And every August, when work stops, it is called the Tiempo Muerto. This year, in the face of the COVID, Tiempo Muerto has started early. This is day one of the enhanced community quarantine in Negros Occidental. Two things dominate during the summer in the province, the sugar capital of the Philippines, the milling season and the pasión. The first brings a season of plenty, the other a season of piety. This transloading station is supposed to be busy. Dan J. Castro works here. Amo na ba lang kambagi sa truck ko ang tao do hindi na magtapas. Kay napunggan sila ko no. Hindi sila pagpagwaon. Kay anong boat sila kun dinhi tinyo? Ti ko magamo ni mapawai kay Central eh kung wai naman dela ko ton. But an unseen enemy has changed things in the province as it has in many parts of the world. Today as the enhanced community quarantine reaches its sixth day, we bring you stories from behind the front lines, narratives from a province that slides between hunger and plenty, now fighting a battle for survival. Each of the 2.5 million struggled to live, to exist in the face of danger, despite a threat. This is the Negros Ecotourism Highway that cuts across the town of Don Salvador Benedicto. This town is the summer capital of Negros Occidental. Like 31 other towns and cities in the province, it is on lockdown. This is day one of Tiempo Muerto. Negros Occidental shuts down versus COVID-19. Bacolod City woke up to empty streets on the morning of ECQ Day 1, simultaneous to that in Negros Occidental. As expected, checkpoints sprung across the province. Armed soldiers and cops, sometimes unarmed watchmen, guarded checkpoints, some well-built, others flimsy barricades. Bali ang amon ni nga kuan hasta ba 24 hours ini nga checkpoint. This cup is on the border between Bacolod City and Don Salvador Benedicto Town. Noel had to leave his family in Bacolod 
he just sends them money. I kami ya frontliner ya, argin kami sa kadilika do gijaga mat, may chance sa gig kami ya matak dan ukun kuan. Right at this checkpoint, just across where Noel stood, lives Suzette Amit. Ma, nagprepara lang kami ng bugas kung 15 days tapos ng mga utang-utang tapos nga ramen ng mga makakulang sa business. She lives in this house with her aunt and children. Her husband, a security guard, works in Bacolod City. He has not gone home for three months now, Suzette says. He just sends them money. Ito bulubas tan payment ang ginakita ya. Okay man lang ang kano man lang ah. ka igo-igo mo lang na ano lang eh gina ginakinikinik lang para makaigo man. Jolan Perater used to work in a hotel in Manila. Now she is a volunteer police auxiliary. Tapos din nag-volunteer ako sa barangay para makabulig makabisa. Saan nag-volunteer ka? Gusto ko na sir makabulig sa akin. Violeta is a veteran health worker. She has seen a lot of sickness. COVID-19 is the most frightening, she said. In the middle of the highway, we met Annalisa dying. She was supposed to be a teacher, but rough times made her drop out. She now sells fruits and as a refreshment by the roadside. Business is bad, she says. She used to earn 5,000 pesos a day, now only a thousand. Near the borders, of Don Salvador Benedicto and San Carlos City is a house by the highway. Junessa Abelio lives here with her husband who had just gone out of the hospital. She and her husband had two scrambled eggs and rice for lunch. Ah, pinigaduro po siya, sir. Kay pigado po mi, sir. Akong anak, minyo ng bayad sa Manila. She was told food will come, but she does not know when. Life and media attention seem to be obsessed now with COVID reports and checkpoints. Like this one between San Carlos City and Valle Hermoso Town. One island, two checkpoints. They disinfect the road here every time. Here, Lieutenant Mirande keeps watch with his men. Ang galabay naton ka ano ang gain na out dire sa borda di magisiling nga masyado parehas sa nagligat tong adlaw kesa mga lastik no. So ang atao ga observe mo magis sila kay expected naman nga ang iyo ni governor start na to gain na mga pastel no. San Carlos City has been declared a retirement heaven. It is scenic, idyllic, beautiful. In this city lives Crystal Kate Muskera. Her friends call her happy. She has not seen anyone from outside San Carlos City in two weeks, she says. As authorities call for social distancing, happy says she has gone on social media distancing. Facebook and other social media accounts have become toxic nowadays, she says. But far from the cities and the boredom of those at home who have been glued to Facebook or TikTok is this, the backbone of the sugar industry. After a brief break and a hearty lunch of boiled pork given by the landowner, they go back to work again. John Ari Gregorio is one of them. Kami ati mungkin ni pengabuian amu gitu. Tapas kami. Ati kun magambal ngabusin ngamun yang ngauntati pikturan kami. 
Dai makasih pasir makasih pasir nang hatak sang gubernur ta gada isak pemuloyo pitu-pitu kilo ni nak pasir ya. Dai kumu ka bataan ka karon ano ipakaon musna. Totong Romay knows the threat of the virus is real, but hunger is also real. Closer to their doors. Kung mahalalan tayo punto sa aton balay da, tayo ano aton kaon sa aton pamilya. Kay mga pamilya ta, mga kabataan pa tayo. This is a summer like no other in Negros. Once described to be a social volcano waiting to explode anytime. The COVID virus is stalking Sugarlandia. But the wolf of want had long been stalking the countryside. And in this season of want, reflection and stifling heat, people have to fight on many fronts. I am now inside the border of Oriental Negros, in the town called Valle Hermoso. It is right after San Carlos City, and today, the historic separation of Oriental Negros and Occidental Negros has started. Not because of a war, against each other, but because of a war against a virus. And today, both provinces stand alone, although together against a common enemy. And this has been Julius Mareveles with Banjo Hinolan, Rodney Harder, and Alcea Rose Mauricio. Thank you for joining us on Julius Mareveles on Assignment.